Yo, welcome to my day stream. Today I'm bringing you guys another comparison video between the Farah and Craig. And I wanted to make this comparison for many reasons. One of those being to talk about what the best AR is after the update. Because as you guys know, in the mid-season update, the Craig actually ended up receiving the nerf. And some people actually still consider the Craig to be the best AR. In my opinion, I don't think it's all out of AR anymore. And some people consider that the Farah is one, or is either the best AR or a pea shooter. And we're going to talk about that briefly because people hearing people slander the Farah is just unacceptable. Because I think that the Farah is literally the best AR in the game. I mean, I want to test that by comparing it to the Craig, which is, again, a gun that is still heavily considered the best, still widely used. Um, also, oh, I know that there's like more AR variety out there right now at the moment and so I gotta test out a lot of the ARs because there is a lot more conversation being talked about with other ARs but for now I feel like the Farah and Craig it's just it's a solid way to start this conversation but before we do get into this comparison I want to say if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 2000 we're like at what 1.83k so we're getting closer and closer every day so I'll be brother out and also man if you guys would do me a favor of following me over on my Twitch channel at alwaysghost underscore that'd be really appreciated but anyways man that being said Let's get into this comparison. You never have the recoil pattern for the far, and as you guys can see, the recoil pattern here isn't that complex, obviously. It's pretty simple, pretty much goes straight up. Um, however, this gun does have recoil, so you gotta be aware with that aware of that when you're using it. But when you put the specimen grip on and you use a, you know you control the right analog a little bit, this gun doesn't have too crazy of recoil. It's pretty easy to control it. It's not the most difficult gun in the world to control, but it definitely requires some control, so you gotta be careful of that. Um, but I feel like most people who are going to watch this video will be able to do it. And if you're able to, this gun is amazing. It's a straight up monster. And I consider this gun to be the best gun in the game at the moment. Or best AR. Best AR. Because I think the Stoner or PKM couldn't take the argument for best uh, gun in the game. But at the end of the day, they're LMGs. And being that slow isn't really my type of thing. And so I think the fire is the closest thing that we got to like the Stoner or PKM. In my opinion. Uh, but anyways, man, this far has kind of had quite a bit of a journey in the whole landscape of Warzone because uh, when, if you guys remember what, it was in Season 3, Season 4, where it was meta, and then it ended up getting nerfed once, then they got nerfed again, where it kind of completely took the weapon out of the meta because they increased the recoil in it, which is something that they should have done to the Craig, but they, after the 20th update, they have not done it yet. They've nerfed the Craig too many times, and they haven't nerfed the recoil, which is just so stupid, but... The far ended up getting a recoil nerf, and that's what kind of made it get out of the meta. It kind of made a comeback like a few weeks ago, then it got put back in the shadow again, in the shadow realm, and then it's come back again. And at this time, it kind of has like a differing viewpoints on if this weapon is good or not. Because some people think it's good, like myself, I think this gun is amazing, while some people think it's not that good of a weapon and it's a marshmallow shooter, which to be honest, I don't really understand that argument because I've never felt like this far has been a marshmallow shooter. If anything, I think the Craig is the marshmallow shooter in this situation, even though it only got nerfed like one damage uh, profile, but bro, it just doesn't hit the same. Even though it, yeah, it doesn't move, it just doesn't hit the same. If you can control the, the far recoil, which again, it isn't the hardest thing to do, you're gonna have more success with this gun than the Craig, 100%, I guarantee you. So I don't understand why people consider this gun to be a very weak weapon. And when we get into the stats, man, you'll see that it's definitely far from a weak weapon. Actually, I take that back because the Farah did have lower damage stats than the Craig when it was in meta. And back then, I was like, why did the f Craig, why wasn't that meta? Why was the Farah meta? Because the Craig had higher damage. But the Farah ended up having, obviously, no recoil, a faster fire rate, and slightly less damage. But this time around, the situation has changed. And so, back then, it was a whole different situation. Now, it's like, what, two seasons later? It, it, the things have changed. And so, this comparison is going to be based off different factors now. And again, I think the Craig, even now, has slightly better damage stats than the Farah. But, bro, don't. Just, just wait. Just hear me out. Because even with those little stats being higher, the Farah is still definitely better. But anyways, man, with that being said, let's get into the Craig slash stats. And you ever have the recoil pattern for the Craig. And I'm not really sure what actually happened here. I don't know if my right stick drift was that hard or if I accidentally moved my analog to the right. But the recoil pattern kind of came out a little bit to the right, a little bit too to the right. Um, but honestly, it doesn't matter because we know that the Craig has no recoil. And that, to me, is obviously the biggest problem of this gun is the fact that it doesn't move. I don't think it has been the problem with the damage for the last three nerves. I think it's just been the, the recoil. And yet... They haven't nerfed the recoil, which is surprising because I feel like they would have recognized by now that maybe nerfing the damage isn't what we need to do 
after like 20 nerfs on this gun like they keep nerfing it but it always ends up on top which is just man they gotta like they, they just eventually gotta nerf the, the recoil if they nerf the recoil on the craig man this gun won't even be top three in my opinion or maybe it still would be but it definitely wouldn't be considered the best ar um which right now again it still is but i really can't figure out why or maybe i you know maybe i will when i see the stats um, but for the first stat that I want to talk about is the fire rate, which for the Faro is a 790 RPM, and then the Craig's is a 652 RPM. Obviously, they're ha a pretty big difference between the two. Um, in this situation, I think that the fire rate matters a lot, considering how close, I will not say how close the damage is, because there's a little bit of a, a big difference in certain categories between the two, but the Faro's fire rate is what allows it to have that feeling of it killing fast. The fact that it puts out bullets at a really fast rate or a decently fast fire. rate makes it you know, feel like it's a monster. And I still stand by the fact that it's the best AR in the game. Um, and some of you guys might disagree with me when you hear these damage stats, but please, man, don't just judge this comparison based off these damage stats because these damage stats don't tell the whole story. And honestly, I don't think it matters in this situation. But anyways, moving over to the damage stats for 0 27 meters for the Faro. We have 39 damage to the head, 29 to the neck, chest, stomach, and extremities, which are the limbs. Whereas the Craig's for 0 to 34 meters is 42 damage to the head, 37 to the neck, 31 to the chest, 29 to the stomach and extremities. So the biggest difference there is between the neck damage, which you have 37 for the Craig, and then 29 for the Farah. So if you hit neck shots, man, with like if you hit all neck shots with the Craig and Farah. It's going to be a pretty close fight because the far has that faster fire rate, Holy but I think the Craig mm, probably edges out, or well, in certain ranges, I feel like in certain ranges the Craig edges out that battle. I'm actually now thinking about it, I think both of these weapons are kind of situational in just how far one, or how far each of you guys are. And actually, there's a lot of factors that play into one-on-ones in Warzone, to be honest, so I can't really even just say that. Because what I'm describing is pretty much a... A scenario where everything goes perfect to end up in a scenario where you're like medium range with both the guns and you hit all your shots because most of the time you're not gonna you know you might miss some of your shots you're not gonna have 100 percent accuracy in every single fight and you know certain situations you might get the first shot on somebody someone might get the first shot on you if they're using the crayer using the fire you know there's a lot of things that just go into these type of scenarios and i think it's kind of just i don't know it might be a little unfair to just you know, compare them to scenarios that i'm not gonna say don't happen but don't consistently happen because, you know, if you take a look at your engagements in Warzone, you know, the, the, obviously the scenarios that I describe don't happen most of the time. You know, certain things end up changing. So for, I guess, normal Warzone, I guess for how Warzone actually plays, the far is by far the better AR. I mean, I think, honestly, I think it's no competition. I know that sounds a little stupid to me considering that the damage statistics are in the favor of the Craig. But I honestly don't think it's a compare or what did I just say? Competition between the far and Craig. But anyways, moving on to the longer ranges. For the 27 meters and above for the far, we have 35 damage to the head, 20 to, 26 to the neck, chest, stomach, and extremities. And then for the Craig's 34 to 56 meters, we have 37 damage to the head, 32 to the neck, 27 to the chest, 25 to the stomach and extremities. And then for the 56 meters and up, 34, head, 34 to the head, 29 to the neck, 25 to the chest, 23 to the extreme stomach and extremities. So obviously there, as it goes longer in range, the Craig starts to fall off on damage. So actually, I think this is where the far comes into play because again, yes, the far has more recoil, but again, like I keep saying this, I'm gonna keep saying this, but the recoil on the far isn't that hard to control, and it has more damage at long range. So if you're able to control it for that brief time at that range, for just to hit those extra shots. You're gonna kill faster than the Craig, especially with that faster fire rate. Now, granted, you have to be pretty accurate with your gun. You have to actually hit your shots, and it's not the easiest to hit shots at long range with the far. I have found myself scenarios where, you know, I'm at pretty far distance for somebody, but you know, I'm gonna be missing a lot of you're shots because you know, fast fire rate added on with the recoil that isn't 100% controllable. Like you're gonna, you're bound to miss shots at those ranges. But if you're able to hit those shots, man, you're gonna be a okay, and you're gonna kill faster than Craig and I'm, I just don't know why people are even considering the Craig to be better than the far like I know like this video kind of became like a one-sided argument against the Craig but to be honest bro part of this video was to just shade the Craig like the Craig to me is such a marshmallow shooter like it's a weapon that is just gonna let you down in a lot of scenarios yeah I know the far might not be 100% like that gun for everybody but bro like for me at least 
the Craig just doesn't even come close to the far. But again, most of these scenarios just kind of come down to personal preference. You know, some people might find the Craigs to still be the greatest of all time. And, you know, again, like I mentioned earlier, I have not used the Craig with the last barrel. I don't know if that'll make a, a difference at all. But it might, you know, the feeling might be a little bit different. Um, but who knows? I still need to test this out. We've only been on this update for like a few days. So I still need to test a lot more things out. I need to test out a lot more ARs. There's still a lot more to, you know, test out just to come to a conclusion to see what the, the best AR is. But right now, for the moment, I have the far at number one. Um, you know, disagree with me, agree with me. It is what it is. But anyways, man, let me know what you guys think about the far out. What do you guys think is the best AR at the moment? And then, man, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. And I'm out. Peace.